G'day Tiger fans, welcome to Raw Vision and dimmest dissection of the round 10 game at the MCG Saturday night. Dream time at the G, the Bombers, Dimmer, uh, I reckon it was just a workman-like sort of performance, is that how you'd describe it? Yeah, it was, we described it as a, as a win-ugly type game. We, we got the job done without being probably as clean as we would have liked throughout the night. We probably at stages turned the ball over and defensively were a little bit off as well. So we went through that in our... Our review on uh, this morning, actually. So um, we've got a couple of areas we'd like to clean up for, for this week's you know, top of the table, North Melbourne. Beautiful. Hitting targets inside 50 is always really important. I reckon we did at times, but then on other occasions we probably could have lowered our eyes a bit. Yeah, I think we had 19 marks inside 50, which is a, you know, a big total. We've had a couple of games this year where we've had really big uh, totals inside 50 of the stages where we've probably just rushed our disposal a little bit inside 50 at various stages. and and left a couple of goals out there but um, you know we probably just didn't hit targets consistently enough going across the arc and it probably turned what was you know a high 30s win to possibly you know a, a 60-65 yeah. uh, win which you probably needed from a percentage point of view but um, we got some work to do in that area we did a bit of work at training today so I hope we get a better result come this week. Those handball receives about 60 or 70 out really help hit targets don't they because it keeps the backman guessing? Yeah it do it breaks the line a little yeah. bit um, and we probably they're the kicks that we actually failed to hit on the weekend I think Lambo probably missed about two or three on the weekend. It's normally a strength of his game. And we had a couple of other players the same. Sam Lloyd missed a couple as well. So, you know, both normally very good kicks inside 50. Um, so we've got, you know, we're pretty happy with, with that, but we've still got some work to do in that area. At half time, Zaha Rakis was on fire. I think he'd had 20 at half time and you made the move putting Taylor Hunt onto him and it worked really well. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, credit to, to Brennan Laid actually suggested that we were, you know, Taylor Hunt was uh, going pretty well down back, but uh, Zaharakis was was getting touches, but more importantly, he was, he was hurting us around clearances. We just couldn't get clean hands on the ball yeah. through the middle, and I think he had seven or eight, but um, I think Taylor, when he was actually on him, only kept him a six after half yeah. time, so he you know, had a really good performance. And that's one thing, you know, Taylor came to us with that in his tool in his yeah. kit bag, so to speak, but um, we've been happy with his runoff half back, but we know we can always go to it if we need. Yeah. Uh, he did a terrific job. Zaharak is a dangerous player. We sort of thought he might be a guy that may get off the leash, so we're glad we, uh, we eventuated with that move. Something you always want to do in a game of footy is obviously force turnovers to the opposition, and we did that a little bit through the mid zone on Saturday night. Yeah, we did. We, we had a, probably a pretty clear plan in place. They, they tend to like to bring the ball back inside the corridor. You can see Goddard there looking for that kick inside, yeah. and we had a, probably a plan in place where we'd probably try and negate that as much as we could. We had a few lapses in concentration, but overall our numbers are pretty good. Uh, and the pleasing thing, we scored from them as well. So, yeah, it's always good to see the boys, you know, be diligent in their, their defensive efforts. And that certainly helps us score a lot more. We've probably been a little bit reliant on, on stoppage scores over the last yeah. coming weeks. So to get some turnover scores is a good result for us. You force turnovers there, and there's generally a forward out, isn't there, on the other yeah, end? Yeah, because generally your mob don't chase yeah, out no, of the show, as you know. It's so. smart forward <laughs> yeah, play, Dimmer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheating into the positive, you're yeah, exactly yeah. right. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it did work out well, and we're, you know, some of the forwards did manage to get on the end of it, which is, uh, which is great. Beautiful. Thanks for that. Thanks, mate. You're going to take the uh, rug down to Hobart? Uh, listen, I said I enjoy the cold down in Tassie, but uh, it should be a great night, actually. Friday night footy at uh, Hobart's going to be terrific, and first time there, but uh, we'll hopefully get a better result this time as compared to last year. Beautiful. Thanks, Dimmer. That's been Dimmer's Dissection. We'll see you next week.